In this tutorial, we'll see how to create a countdown timer in Unity using a C Sharp script. We'll also see how to set up the UI required for displaying a countdown timer and how to display the time in minutes and seconds. To create a countdown timer, we'll first declare a float variable and then reduce the value of the float variable by subtracting it with time dot delta time until it becomes zero. We'll also use a UI text element to display the time on the screen. So let's get started. First, create an empty object and name it as timer. Next, add a UI text element. UI. So in the new version of Unity, it is Text Mesh Pro. So select Text Mesh Pro. Let's call it Timer Display. Select the timer game object and add a script to it. Let's call the script Example Timer. Let's open the script in Visual Studio for editing. First, we need a float. Let's call it countdown. And let's set the initial value to say 300 seconds. Now we don't need the start function. We need an update function. So let's change the start function into update. And inside the update, we are going to see if countdown is greater than zero. Then we do countdown minus equal to time dot delta time. So time dot delta time basically gives you the time difference between each frame. So by subtracting that, you'll be able to reduce countdown to zero exactly in 300 seconds. So just to know if the script is working, we'll just debug log countdown. So now let's go back to Unity. Make sure your console window is open here. And now if you play the game, now you can see that the countdown is starting from 300 and it's slowly reducing. So this code takes care of the countdown from 300 to zero. Now to display it, we need to access the text UI element. We'll be needing the namespace using TM Pro. Now TM Pro is required for any text mesh pro object. So since we are not using the Unity UI text and we are using the text mesh pro text, we'll be adding the namespace using TM Pro. So in case if you are using the inbuilt Unity text element, then you have to add using Unity Engine.ui. Now we need to assign this text element from outside. So we'll be making this as serialized field and we'll say TMP underscore text and let's call it text. You can also set it to public if you don't want to serialize field. But public is not required unless you want to access the game object from another script. Now in place of the debug log, we'll display the text. So we'll just say text dot text. This accesses the text field of the text mesh pro is equal to our countdown. So countdown is basically a float. So you cannot assign a float to a string. So you have to convert the float to the string. So you can use dot to string to convert it into string. So now if we go back to Unity, so let me just check where the timer display is. Okay, it's somewhere in the bottom. Okay, so let's move it to the center and let's set the camera to a solid color of black so that we'll be able to see the text properly. Now we need to assign the text element to our script. So let's do that and now let's play the game. So you can see that the timer is reducing and it's displayed on the screen. But you can see that it is basically uh, it's having five dec four decimal digits. So if you want to reduce the number of decimal digits, we can use math.round. We'll need a variable of type double for that. So let's say double b is equal to system.math.round. And we'll just assign countdown to it. And in place of countdown dot to string, we'll just say b dot to string. Okay, so you basically have to set the number of decimal digits here. So countdown comma two. So now if we go back to Unity and play the game, so you can see there are two decimal digits now. Now if you want to display the time in minutes and seconds, then we'll have to find the number of minutes left and number of seconds left. 
To get the minutes and seconds, you have to divide the timer by 60 and take the quotient and the remainder. The quotient is the number of minutes and remainder is the number of seconds. We can use the math of dot float to end to get the integer part of the quotient and remainder. So here's how to do it. So we'll have a float which will be our minute that will be equal to math of dot float to end. And inside we are just going to divide the countdown by 60. So this will give you the quotient, which is our minutes. And similarly, float seconds is equal to math of dot float to end. And here to get the remainder, we'll just say countdown modulo 60. Now to display the minutes and seconds, we are going to require two text elements. So let's just add two more. We'll just copy this and paste it two times and change this to minutes and change this to seconds okay and for the display we're going to say minutes dot text equal to first we'll say minutes so that the person who's seeing it will know this is minutes. Then we are going to add our min variable, which is not a string, so we'll convert it into string. Okay, so similarly, we're going to just copy this and paste it. And here it's going to be seconds dot text. And in here, we're going to say seconds, and this is going to be SEC. Now the code is ready. Let's go back to Unity. Now we'll need two more text elements. So let's just duplicate it two times and move one here and move one here. So let's call this one minutes. And this one seconds. Okay, now let's select the script, assign minutes to minutes, seconds to seconds. Now let's just go to the game and play it. So, yeah, this is our countdown, and this is four minutes and 54 seconds. Now you can display the minutes and seconds in a single text UI using the string format option. The way string formatting works is by inserting the values inside the curly braces, which are between the strings. So we'll just change this. Using string format, we're going to display it with seconds and uh, minutes. So we'll have to do it after finding out the seconds and minutes. So it's going to be text dot text is equal to string dot format. So inside this, we'll have to provide the format. So in the double quotes, first we'll provide the curly braces where we are going to say zero, which is the index number, and then the format. Then you have to say colon. So that is minutes. Minutes will be your first index and it will be in the format zero, zero. Then these, the second index, which is the number one, and the format is going to be 00, zero which will be seconds now to assign minutes and seconds to this you can just say comma min comma sec and that's it now let's go back to unity and see if it works yeah so you can see that the display in the center has changed into minutes colon seconds so this is how the string formatting works so if you just want to display a single timer not in the not like this, like minutes and seconds. You can use the string formatting to display minutes and seconds. Now, in most of the cases, we also display the time elapsed. So the first thing that we'll need is a float, which will store the initial value. We'll set that to zero. Then we'll require the start function. Inside start, we're going to just set the initial value to our countdown 
sorry the countdown to our initial value and once we reduce the value of countdown we are going to say time elapsed we also need a float for saving the time elapsed so time elapsed and here we are going to say time elapsed equal to initial value minus countdown and we have one more text element serialized field tmp underscore text and this is for time elapsed display okay so here we are going to say time elapsed display dot text is equal to time elapsed dot to string so if you want to convert this also into minutes and seconds you can use the same formatting the final completed timer script is available on mining studio the link is there in the description now if we go back to unity we have to assign the time elapsed display yep so now if we play so here's your timer here's your time in minutes here's your time in seconds and here's the elapsed time so that's it you have created a countdown timer that displays time in minutes and seconds if you have any other questions feel free to leave a comment below also don't forget to subscribe and like the video thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share